Hello. Today we're going to show you how to use the Linkerd CLI to look at the metrics of your application running inside of the Linkerd service mesh. The Linkerd CLI has several commands that you can use uh, to check the status of the control plane as well as launch the dashboard or even install Linkerd. Today we're focusing on the commands that will give us metrics and those are the edges command, the metrics command, the routes command, the stat, the tap, and the top commands. So let's get started. I already have a demonstration application running and we can see those pods with cube control get pods. Here we see we have four pods running in this demonstration application, and they're all part of the Linkerd service mesh. And we can tell this because for a couple of reasons. First is that the uh, pod status is two of two. So uh, one of those is the Linkerd proxy that's rent managing the traffic. But we can also use the Linkerd uh, edges command to show us the connections between the pods in the service mesh. So here we see uh, we have the vote, the web, and those connections, those services are connected to uh, emoji and voting services as well. And we can see that Linkerd has provided this mutual TOS, the connection between those services. So we can be certain that our traffic is encrypted. We can also look at that same output for deployments. So here we see we have within the emoji voto namespace, we have this deployments that are all communicating with each other. You may also notice that we have some other connections from the Linkerd control plane. And these connections are also part of the Linkerd service mesh and they are coming from again, as I mentioned, the control plane to communicate with the pods in the Emoji Voto service to collect the metrics and to get information from the tap command specifically. Speaking of tap, let's take a look at that now. Tap is one of the more powerful and more commonly used commands for the Linkerd CLI, and it shows you real-time traffic for your services. So for now, we have uh, our web pod. So let's tap all of the traffic in and out of the web pod. Okay, so here on the screen we see quite a bit of output. And this is, again, all of the traffic that is coming out of, going into and coming out of the web pod. That's quite a bit. So why don't we filter it down a little bit? So let's look at all of the traffic going between the web deployment and the emoji deployment. Here we see uh, much less output and that's because we've focused in on a very specific set of traffic between two services. We can see that the web service is making a request to the emoji service and it's a post request. So there's quite a bit of information that is output from the tap uh, in the tap command. Uh, we can see the source and the destination. So the traffic is coming from 10.244.0.73 and it's going to 10.244.0.75. It, again, it's a post method. We can see that the traffic is secured. It's, there's TLS between the two services. And the authority of the service is specified in the output as well, along with the path that's being requested. So again, we know that the web service is sending a request to the emoji service to this find by shortcode path. We can also see that the response is a 200 response, so it was successful. And we can see that the latency was, uh, well, we can see how much latency there was. It's quite fast. 
We can also do this for at the pod level as well. So let's get our pods. And let's say that we want to tap the traffic between the, uh, first let's start with the web pod. And we're going to get the traffic that's going to the voting pod this time. And here we'll see Again, more traffic, and this one has quite a bit more traffic. Uh, but again, this is the traffic between two very unique or two distinct pods. So we've filtered this traffic down. Another thing that we can do with the tap command is to write the output as JSON. Now, if we scroll up, we can see that we're getting much more information than we do just from the standard output. And this is really useful if you want to consume it with a uh, some sort of CI CD system or even a, a system for uh, alerting or monitoring. So this is uh, just a different type of output. Again, that's the dash O JSON command. The next one we'll look next command that we'll look at is Linkerd top. And what that does is it shows us the most popular routes that are being requested for uh, a given resource. In this case, we've specified all of the deployments in the application. And we can see that the number of requests is increasing quite rapidly. Let's say that we wanted to look at just the routes inside of the web deployment. Uh, these are the this is the traffic going from the web deployment to other deployments. So we can see that uh, the traffic again is in is uh, is being added, and we can see the the metrics that are that are growing. The next command we want to take a look at is Linkerd stat, and this will show us the statistics for the ongoing requests to the deployments in the in the Emojivoto application. So this watch command is going to continue and loop over updating the information from the Linkerd stat command. And we can see that the statistics don't change very much as this is a very simple application. But the important part is we're seeing the number of requests per second that are being sent to each of the services. And we also see the important latencies, the P50, P95, and P99 latencies that uh, are the response times from the applications, the services themselves. With the stat command, we can also use the wide flag, and that will give us TCP level metrics. Specifically, we're starting to see the uh, bytes read and written for each of the services as a whole. And we also can see the success rates for the services. So Linkerd will keep track of the, the response codes that it gets from each of the services and aggregate those to display those success rates. The last command that we want to take a look at is the linkerd profile command um, and uh, sorry linkerd routes command so with linkerd routes we can see the per route metrics for each of the services in our deployment so or in our application so let's specify specifically the routes for the web deployment and again, we can watch these metrics and we can see that they are uh, changing over time. And again, this is for each of the routes within the web application. So the web application specifies two routes or, and these are uh, the paths for which requests are handled by the web application. We can contrast this with the routes inside of let's say the 
voting service, which is going to have many more routes because there are many more uh, paths for which the voting service will handle requests. And here we can see that these services are, we see the same latencies, the success rates, and the requests per second. These are known as the golden metrics for each of these services. Let's take one final look at our other service, which is the emoji service. And its routes are, it only exposes two routes, find by shortcode and list all. And we can see the success rates and the latencies for each of those services as well. So you, there you have it. That is how you use the Linkerd CLI to get the metrics for the services in your application. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching this video.